A car tester Klaus Niedswitz says if you want a vehicle that's a sports car and a luxury sedan in equal measures, the Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid is ideal. It boasts 680 horsepower and a top speed of 310 kilometers an hour. So to really put the car through its paces, Klaus has brought it to a Canadian racetrack. The launch of the Panamera 4 e-hybrid made it clear that electric motors and sporty driving can go together. What's new is that now, the high-end model Panamera Turbo S e-hybrid also boasts hybrid technology. Until now, Turbo S designated the mightiest engine available in a series. Now, Turbo S and e-hybrid are appearing in combination. With the first Panamera generation, Porsche wanted to show that it's possible to make a typical Porsche sports car in a four-door version. The result, a coupe-like sedan with ample legroom, even in back. The first generation somewhat stumpy rear is history. Now the second generation Panamera has a much more elegant look. So you wonder, why not from the get-go? The electric motor can turn the Panamera into a stealthy vehicle, but its V8 can also deliver a roar. Klaus says under the car's hood is an elaborate high-end technology, a four-liter twin turbocharged engine. Then you've got the eight-speed automatic transmission. And here, painted in red, is its electric motor. These two cables carry electricity from the battery to the front. The electric motor, of course, also generates electricity, which is then fed back into the 135-kilogram battery. The entire system produces about 680 horsepower and 850 newton meters of torque. That's plenty, says Klaus. To propel such a car to 100 kilometers an hour in only 3.4 seconds requires some serious power. The Panamero Turbo's 4-liter twin-turbocharged V8 and its hybrid module generate assisted performance 500 kilowatts and only uses 2.9 liters per 100 kilometers, according to the manufacturer. Klaus says one thing is clear, the Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid really is an amazing, powerful feat of engineering. It accelerates to 100 in just 3.4 seconds if you really step on it, although that's the ideal scenario. Even genuine racing cars struggle to achieve that. And what? Klaus points out that the electronically regulated and controlled air suspension makes it handle almost like a real sports car. Not only that, says Klaus, it also comes with Porsche's famous slash infamous all-wheel drive. That ensures perfect balance, so you don't have to worry about fishtailing. As for the interior, Porsche offers features that are already familiar from the regular turbo. A unique feature of this second generation is the display and control concept. Porsche Advanced Cockpit is standard fitted, has touch sensitive panels and individually configured displays. In the back, there's more high-end technology. The new Porsche Rear Seat Entertainment uses Wi-Fi to connect to Porsche Communication Management to access radio, media, and vehicle functions. With the additional hybrid motor, the Porsche Panamera Turbo SE Hybrid weighs in at a whopping 2.3 tons. That makes it as heavy as a Range Rover. The battery pack alone weighs 130 kilograms. Its additional electric drive means an extra 300 kilograms of weight, and that Porsche has called this the flagship model of the series shows just how serious Porsche is about going electric. Klaus's verdict, the car is certainly a blast on the racetrack. But if you're honest, no one actually needs 680 horsepower. Even though it's nice to own, the top range model lists at around 200,000 euros.